Hey James, Tim Beecham here. I told you I was going to make you a video to show you real quick the sales funnel process. Then when I was uh, trying to clear some stuff off my iPhone to make room for the video, I thought, hey, I can also use this video to create another product called quicksalesfunnel.com. Don't go by that domain name. I'm about to buy it as soon as I finish this video. <laughs> Alright, I cut that. Let's great do the sales funnel process. Recue. Alright. Three, two, one. One of the most important things you can have on any website, no matter what it is, is to implement some type of sales funnel. And I'm going to show you real quick how simplistic this is, and I'm going to also uh, give you a few tips, tricks, and secrets that would normally cost you thousands of dollars. First thing starting off in your sales funnel is to get them in the sales funnel. That's why you make a free offer. It can be anything free. Now, a lot of people try to shortcut this process and they overlook it, but this is extremely valuable. Give them some videos, an uh, audio course, or something that's absolutely free and it has to have value to the, the end user or your prospect. Once you get them on a sales funnel, you want to wait a few days and you're going to offer a low-end offer. Now, you just don't want to come in um, with a low-end offer like you're trying to sell something. I mean, they know what it is, but you just don't want to... Come in, hey, buy this, buy this, buy this. You don't want to do that. You want to come in and say, hey, look, if you like that video I made you the other day or that audio course, um, I have something else that's going to totally blow your mind. Let me explain it to you. They just got this free. So they're just assuming, the psychology behind it, they're assuming that you're giving them something else free. And when you come on, the video is always the best option. As you see, you don't have to be fancy. I have on no lavaliers or nothing. I'm shooting this on a, from an iPhone. And my son sits back there shaking, holding it. <laughs> So you want to make them a low-end offer, and you want to come in and tell them who you are, what you have for them, and what you want them to do. Those are the three things that you're going to always do in your sales funnel. For example, I'll say, hello, my name is Tim Beecham. If you like that video that I gave you yesterday, which was totally awesome, you learned about this, this, and this, and you're going to love this today. I'm going to tell you about a strategy that's going to totally increase your sales. The dynamics behind it is just mind-boggling. And you come in and then you make your low-end offer. A low-end offer is something that usually ranges between like $19.97 and um, $50. $47 is what I usually go with. So between $20 and $50 is your low-end offer. When they buy your low-end offer, you want to do what's called the up-down up sale. First, you want to try to upsell. You upsell them and say, hey, look, if you bought that for $19.97, you're going to love this for... Um, $97 right here. And if they say no to that, of course you already know if they say yeah, go ahead and take it to the sales thing and close the deal. If they say no, then you want to try a down sale. Now down sale is, like you just sold a product for $19.97 or $47, depending. let's say I sold for $47. I tried to sell them on an upsell for $97, they didn't want that. So I take them to a down sale page and I'm going to say, Okay, look, I understand a lot of people's budgets are tight. You just want something that you can get started with. Well, I'm going to add this in. You get this extra for um, $10, for example. So I'm downselling. The downsell is lower than your original price that you tried to sell for. So I always take them through the low, low sale offer. Once they buy, take them to an upsell. If they say no, you know, the deal's closed out. I'm going away. If they say uh, no, they don't want this. If they say yes, I mean... Take them to the, close the deal. Take them to your credit card, PayPal, whatever you're using. If they say no, take them to a down sale page. A down sale page is lower than the original offer. And um, sell them something lower. Okay, now, wait a few days after they purchase. It could be either one of these. I'll make this real confusing for you. Wait a few days. Send them out another message. You can wait a few days a week or something like that. I usually wait about a week or two. And, um... Give them something else for you. See how the sales phone is going? I'm getting them down to that high-end product. And this sales phone, I'm going to show you how you sell thousands of dollars worth of stuff. About a week or so, give them something free. Better, it has to be better than your initial free offer. You can't keep giving them the same kind of thing. Make it better. Make it more valuable. Put more effort into it. Wait a few days. Take them to another offer. After two days, email about the same thing, who you are, hello, my name is Tim Beecham. If you liked that yesterday, it was really awesome. It was something I learned from XYZ doing. I've been doing it for XYZ amount of years. 
this right here is going to just totally increase everything, especially if you're one of those people that bought my first widget. This is just integrates with the first widget and makes it even more powerful. So you want to sell them this and this is always going to be a higher end offer. This is also called training your list. You don't want to keep sending out free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Then when you ask for money, they're going to get upset. And don't worry about people opting out because you're sending offers and you're giving away, because you're giving away free cool stuff. It's good karma all the way around. This higher end offer should always be from that $50 to $100 range. Um, well, medium, well, medium grade offer. Let's call this a medium grade offer right here for some people. Because I remember I had a, when I was teaching this, a lot of people didn't feel comfortable asking for like $197 to $200 for a product. They just weren't there yet. So we're going to call this a mid grade offer, which is around $97. But you have to add value for that. I'm going to tell you how to add value for this. Give them something like a video course. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking that they need to spend thousands of dollars creating a course to create something high in value. You really don't. It's the information. So when I go ahead and create this video course, I might take the audio out and allow them to listen to the audio too. So I have a video course, an audio course. You can go online to like Elance or Odesk or somebody pay somebody to transcribe the audio. Now you're getting a video, audio, and a transcription of the course. This adds more value for $197. It's going to walk you step by step by step, show you the soups and nuts, paint by the numbers of how to accomplish whatever it is that you're trying to get them to accomplish. Keep repeating this process right here. What do you think I'm going to do on this mid-grade offer? Let's say that they purchased a mid-grade offer. What am I going to do next? If you said send them to an upsell, you're correct. What if they say no to the upsell? We don't want the upsell. I'm going to send them to a down sale. If I'm selling this right here at $97, what do you think is going to happen the next time I contact them? What am I going to do? I'm going to give them another free offer. This offer may be a longer video. I'm going to give them more content. It's going to be just awesome. After I give them a free offer again, excuse my handwriting, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing good. <laughs> um, after I give them something else free, I'm going to go with a higher end offer. This offer right here is going to be like $197, $299, $399. And um, if you're a PayPal user, PayPal has a feature that you can add onto your account that allows you to accept payments in installments. Because once I start getting up to like $499 products, I um, offer installments because I know everybody, they, they want to get the value out of it. They've been on my list through here. They see that I give good value. They know what I'm doing. They know that I know what I'm doing. I'm going to send them to the high end offer. If they say no to the high-end offer, what am I going to do? First of all, what I'm going to do on a high-end offer, I'm going to offer to them in one chunk. So I, I, they can pay the $4.99 right now. Let's say they say um, they can't afford that. I'm going to wait a few days soon. Or the next day, I'm going to say, hey, look, I'm not sure why you didn't buy. Money was the issue. Let me help you so you can make installments. You can make four monthly installments. And I'll always back up your money things with a guarantee. Give them their money back if they don't like it. I know it's a digital product and you said, oh, what if they download and just get their money back? Yes, you're going to have that happen. But you'll make more money that way by having an ironclad guarantee on there standing by your product than if you didn't offer any kind of guarantee at all. So I hope that the sales funnel process made sense to you and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you soon.